The Arts Council Collection are a group of people who hold artworks like Calendula's Club that we're doing today. The Arts Council Collection also held 8,000 pieces of artwork and by 2,000 artists. The Gumsall Arts Council are a group of children from Year 5 and 6 in Gumsall Primary School. Well, first of all we had to we had three votes and we had to write down on each piece of paper with a different piece of artwork on it, which one we wanted. And then we put it in ranking order. We, it, we had joint top with Calendula's Cloak and like, a little sandbox. And then when people first saw the Calendula's Cloak in colour, most people just went for Calendula's Cloak. When I saw it for the first time in real life, I was absolutely amazed because all the photographs I'd seen, they were beautiful, but it's just even better in real life because you get to see all the detail, you can really walk around it. I really like it and I like how it's got all of the things on and in the hands. Basically my jaw just dropped because I wasn't even expecting it to be in the room in the first place. When I walked in I'm like, whoa. Like just amazed, like stunned, yeah. It's taller than me. I wasn't expecting it to be that tall. It's like about the same size as me. To make Calendula's cloak, Jan has used patchwork which is taking lots of different squares of fabric and putting them all together. Patchworking would be very hard for us to do, let alone something as big as that. That would have taken us such a long time. So a calendula is a type of flower that comes out in summer time, I think. What Jan Howarth based it on was her mum's favourite flower and is why she named it Calendula's Cloak. I can see the different colours, say the reds and the yellows, um, the blues and the greens, making the different seasons, autumn, winter, summer and spring. My name is Jan Haworth, I'm an artist. I live in uh, Salt Lake City in Utah. Um, and I've been asked a number of questions um, by a school in England, and I'm very happy to answer them. How long did it take to make Calendula's Club? So the roots of something go way back, and particularly with Calendula's cloak, it, it goes way back for me. The actual physical time of making the actual object, probably between one month and maybe two, I think, on that particular piece, but it could have been a lot longer. But what inspired you to make Calendula's cloak? When I was a little girl, I met a man called William Cameron Menzies. I went after dinner to his house with my father and to his studio, and he had done four paintings that were four seasons. And uh, the paintings were just wonderful, and they absolutely stuck with me. I just loved the idea of making a personification of seasons. And um, the Calendula's Cloak does reflect that. It goes through what I consider to be four seasons. How long? have you been making sculptures for? This was a little doll that I made when I was 10, and I made her um, because my father went to Germany working on a film, and uh, he brought back a little boy doll for me. And it was just like this, it was post-war Germany. This um, little doll was to go with a boy doll. The doll was something that, that then had a friend and was important to me. What is it like to be a female artist? You are up against prejudice in uh, some quarters um, and then you have advantages in others. So I am a human and um, I would like to help other humans or share things with other humans and um, I will do the best I can. And if somebody treats me badly because they think of me as a woman, then I don't want to have anything to do with that person actually. Now, um, the gallery that I'm with um, and most of the people I deal with um, are very cognizant about keeping the uh, balance between male and female artists. Thank you very much.